Percy and Toby were worried. Thomas's recent accident had caused a great deal of trouble, and Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for them with important news. Said Sir Topham Hatt. Said the engines. Daisy was not easy to please. She shuddered at the engine shed. Next, they tried the carriage shed, said Daisy. The rubbish turned out to be Annie, Clarabelle, and Henrietta, who were most offended. They fumed. Percy and Toby had to take them away and spend half a night soothing their hurt feelings. The engines woke next morning feeling exhausted. Daisy, on the other hand, felt bright and cheerful. She tooted as she came out of the yard and back to the station. She purred to the passengers. The passengers waited for Daisy to start, but she didn't. She saw that a milk van was about to be coupled up to her and was most indignant. Said her driver. Said Daisy. She began to shudder violently. Said her driver. Daisy worked backwards. She was so cross that she blew a fuse. She said and stopped. Everyone argued with her, but it was no use. She said. Finished Daisy. Said the station master. Said the shunter. Spluttered Daisy. Grumbled the passengers, so they uncoupled the van and Daisy purred away feeling very pleased with herself. She can now enjoy her journey. She chuckled, but she said it to herself.